So we continue to work into our workshop questions. We in question two now, which is giving us the following stock solution. As you can see, it's all listed right here. Then they're asking us to prepare a 200 milliliter per buffer solution, which containing 0.05 trist chloride concentration. But to do these questions, we're going to start with our equation, which is. C1, V1 is equal to C2, V2. V1 stands for initial concentration, and the V2 stands for the final concentration. It's the same way with V1 stands for the initial volume, and V2 stands for our final volume. So to do this, we're gonna list everything which we know at the moment. We know that the C1 width is equal to 0 0.2 more of trust. And we know that our C2 is the one which is given to us right here 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Then we know that our V, our, excuse me. Oh no. We know that our V1 is the one which we are looking, it's not given to us anywhere. And our V2 is given to us, which is the 200 milliliters. Milliliters. So to work this equation out, you just need to rearrange this equation to find the V. To rearrange the equation, you're going to go with V1 is equal to C2 times V2 over C1. Then you can swap up the numbers, which will give you C2, which we have is 0 0.05 more times V2 convert into liters because we have the more of a liter 0.2 liters then our C1 is equal to 0.2 moles then what we can do we can cancel this two and if we put this into our calculator Zero point zero five times zero point two equal divide by Plus zero point two, analysis. which is equal to zero point zero five liters. But they're asking us to do it in a milliliter. We need to convert into a milliliter, which will be equal to fifty milliliters of trace we need to need to take from the stock solution first so this is a part two which we now have to work with the 0.1 more of the ADTA so to do to find this one we still gonna use the same equation of the C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2 we have already explained that this one the first part so in here what you're gonna get are the C1 our C1 is going to be 0 0.1 mole of ADT and our C2 is going to be 2 milli moles and our V1 is the one which we are looking and our V2 is 200 milli liters. so when you rearrange this equation which you are going to have V1 is equal to C2 times V2 over C1. If we can plug up the, our numbers, you're going to have V2, which is 200 milliliters. We have to convert to liters, which will be 0 0.2 liters times our C2 is also in the milliliter we have to convert it to a, a millimole we have to convert it to a moles it's gonna be 0 
zero zero two bonds over the zero point one bonds. We can cancel this two units. We plug this one into our calculator, we get zero point two times zero point zero zero two equal divided by zero point one is equal to zero point zero zero four liters. Then we can convert it back to the milliliters because we need our answer to be into a milliliters, which will be times ten to the power of three, which will give us is equal to four milliliters. Our final answer. So we're still continuing to the, our same question. Now we have to work the part C of the question, which is this one here. So we still have to go and find V1. And in C1, what we have into our C1 is equal to one mole. And C2 is equal to five milli moles. And V1, we don't have it. And V2 is 200 milli moles. So to find the V1, we need to rearrange the equation, which is V1 is equal to C2 times V2 over C1. We plug the number, which we have C2 is equal to 0 0.005 moles times by 0 0.2 is is all over one moles. We cancel the unit and we times this one we plug them into our calculators we get to get 0 0.001 liters and we have to convert them back to milliliters for our equation in which you will times by 10 to the 3 which the answer will be 1 milliliters that's the final answer welcome everyone into our question 2 part B section as we have seen from the previous question that in order to make the solution of 0 0.05 mole of trace chloride we needed to measure a 50 milliliters of a stock solution and the second one was as well the same. In order to do the two millimole of ADTI, you measured a four milliliters of a stock solution. And the final one was to make the five milliliters of DTT, we needed a one milliliter of the stock solution. By going back to our question, in the part B, it's asking us what would you use for making it to the final of 200 milliliters. To cooperate all these questions together, we can make it of 50 milliliters plus 4 milliliters plus 1 milliliters, which it gives us to get, gives us if you add all of them together, gives us to 55 milliliters. So in order to make them all up to 200 milliliters, you're gonna get up 200 milliliters minus 55 milliliters, which if you put them into your calculator, you find it gives 145 milliliters. So if you want to check this question, you can then check it by taking up 55 milliliters plus 145 milliliters it gives you the total of 200 milliliters so in order to make it to up to 200 milliliters we need to add 
the 145 milliliters of deionizing water. So this is here is our final answers. Thank you. I'm the world. Well done.